Hi, my name is Helena. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I am having some guests coming over and I'm gonna be barbecuing a fish. A beautiful red snapper that I got. And uh, we're gonna do that with help of Philadelphia cream cheese as a little filling with fresh herbs. It's gonna be fabulous. What I'm gonna start with is to prep the potatoes that are going to go with the fish. So I'm going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. And I have a mix of potatoes with all different fun colors. And we're cutting them up. Lately the weather here in Northern California has been beautiful and it's been pretty warm and this is the perfect dish to serve on a hot day. It has that light freshness to, the, to it and um, it's also very healthy for you who want to fit in your bathing suit this summer. I'm also going to cut the onions. I'm cutting quite big pieces of the onion too. And so I did with my carrots. So I tossed everything in a big bowl. Now we're going to add some olive oil. Salt and pepper. Toss around. And I'm going to add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. Now the potatoes and the vegetables are beautifully coated. So now we're going to prepare the fish. I'm going to use a little bit of salt and pepper just all over the fish, both inside and outside. So I'm going to prepare the filling for the fish now and I'm going to use cilantro, chives and parsley. And I'm going to just rough chop this. nice with fresh herbs too, it just makes such a big difference in any dish. And I'm using part of the stem too because I think it's just such a waste not to. And I am saving a little bit for garnish and a little bit for the salad that I'm going to make with a mango. In Philadelphia cream cheese. The herbs in the Philadelphia cream cheese are, is now going to be mixed up together with lime juice. You can always use a mixer to, to blend it also, but it's pretty simple to just use a fork. <laughs> oh, fresh herbs smell so good. And what's going to happen with this cheese, it holds together the herbs inside of the fish, but then when it gets hot it's going to melt out and mix with the potatoes and, and vegetables. <laughs> Barbecue season is so wonderful, I love that part of the year. And it's not just meat and hot dogs you can barbecue, fish is the perfect example of that. Okay, let's stuff this little one. a little messy. To hold the fish together I'm gonna put two, a couple of toothpicks through. Okay so now we're gonna make our little package here. Put the fish in the middle. Flip it 
all these colors. It's not pretty. And then folding this up, same on the side. There we go, our little package is ready. I'm gonna make just a few air holes. And off to the grill we go. So what I did here is that I put the package on indirect heat so the burners on the sides are the burners on the sides are on, but directly under the fish, uh, the uh, burner is actually off. While the fish is on the barbecue, I'm going to prepare the, uh, the little mango that's going to go with the fish. And I peel off the skin on the mango like this. But then you have a hard center, so you're going to have to cut around that to get the meat off. Quality testing. Mm. I'm gonna add some Meyer lemon into this. The mango is sweet, so I can use at least a couple of tablespoons of the Meyer lemon juice. And Meyer lemon is not as sour as the regular lemon either. I also have a little piece of fresh jalapeno no seeds because I don't want it spi really spicy. I'm going to slice this really fine first and then cut it the other way. But I want a little bit of, of heat to it, not just too much. Really fine into the mango and then I'm adding some of the um, herbs Chop them up a little bit finer. And this is the same mix with parsley, chives and uh, cilantro. Same mix that I used in the fish. And then just a pinch of salt. A little black pepper. I'm going to toss it around. And then we're going to let this sit until the fish is ready. Now it's time to open up this beautiful package. Look at that. So we're going to serve up a plate with this beautiful fish. But you see here all this gooiness. We want to get some of that. Taking off the skin, and the fish is so tender, it just falls off the bone. Look at this. So pretty. And there's little bones here and there, so you gotta pick them out, but you know, that comes with the fish. And then we're gonna serve up the potatoes. Putting our mango salad, a little lime, and sprinkle a little bit more of fresh herbs over the potatoes. So this package is baked on the barbecue with a red snapper and stuffed with a beautiful Philadelphia cream cheese herb filling. I hope our guests are coming soon and uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you also will enjoy this recipe at home. Thank you.